That would be great. So today I want to talk about selling really easy. Okay. Really easy. Just do this at the top of your page, write out to sell someone. There you go. I'm going to tell you a lot of you guys, you think you know how to sell somebody, but you suck at selling. I'm just going to be honest. You got to look in the mirror and you got to look at yourself and you can't lie to yourself. This is the number one rule. By the way, if I look, my goal isn't to be your counselor and to build you up to thinking that you're, you know, make you feel special and warm. I want you to go make a lot of money and win. So when I talk to you about like some things that will really change your life, learning how to sell is one of them. And most salespeople, they don't know how to sell. They got the sales on their card, but if you look at their financial, their paycheck doesn't match their selling skill. So the goal is, is that right now, if you're earning 300 grand, you know how to sell. I'm sure of it. Why? Because the scoreboard shows it. But if you're making between 70 grand and above 20, you're in a very dangerous spot. Okay. And let me explain this to you. This will help and make more sense than anything. I'm not going to give you a word track today. Word tracks, we're throwing them out the window. Last week, we did objection handling. We talked about words we could say, which are very important on how to overcome certain objections. But what value is it to have a word track if you don't know how to sell? Well, number one, if you want to be a great salesperson, you have to believe in yourself. Write that down. And I mean, believe in yourself. 110%. I don't care about anybody else around you. I don't care where you're at right now in your dealership. You're number one, you're number 10. Look, if you're the top salesman in your store, compete with me. Okay. Stop competing with the average around you and like compete with me because that right there is what I'm here for. If you're at a very high mountain, right? Come down. Let's go climb a bigger one. Now, if you're dead E on broke and you're like, dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not making what I want to make. I'm going to tell you this. This will change everything for you. Number one, believability, the way you believe in you is everything. How the hell is someone else going to believe in you if you don't believe in you? I, I say this all the time. I'm sitting there talking to somebody. They're telling me something They're like, hey, guy earlier, he's like, Andy, I've been using word tracks. They're not working. I said, oh, okay, cool, man. Shoot me a video. Show, tell me how you did it. He sends me a video. It's like he's dead in a coffin. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dude, do me a favor. Go in the bathroom, stick your head in the toilet, come back out, wake your ass up, and sound like you give a shit. Because I know when someone cares about me, when they care, they're alive. I can feel it. By the way, persuading somebody, persuading somebody, it's called the transfer of emotion. Okay? Write that down. To persuade means transfer of emotion. Now, if, if that means that I got to take the way I feel and push it into you, if I don't feel great, how do you think my customers going to feel? Shit, man, they're going to be asleep. You know what I'm saying? Look, you don't work at McDonald's. Listen. Everybody write this down. I take the way I feel and I push it into them. It's that easy. Listen, if you've ever trained live with me, I know a couple of you here yesterday at the Master Closer Seminar. Look, it's really easy. The reason why people come train live with me, maybe I've taught a, 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 something here or something there, but you get to look in my eyes and you see the way that I will own somebody when I'm talking to them. You will see the way that I maintain control and I ain't giving it up. And even though I'm a lion, I sell like a lamb. I'm very smooth. I'm not high pressure. I'm very low, but it's undetected. It's like a drug plane. It's flying right under the radar. You don't even see it. It's there. Okay. I'm getting the job done. I'm pushing. Trust me. You can't feel it. Okay. But I believe in myself so much and I have so much conviction and believability in what I'm saying, that guess what? The other person believes. It's that easy. So, so look at that. Jason, what's up? Let's go. Somebody, Mikey, Mike, Robert, I see you, dog. 
I see you down there. Colton, what's up? Dennis, what's up? Robert. Hey, hey guys. There you hey. guys are. Over the, hey, there's hey. a couple. There's the deadly couple. Hey. Alex, what's up? Nick hey. Valentine. Hey, guys. Listen, these guys. Nick Valentine. Nick Valentine. So, what's up, guys? Talia down there at Titans. Talia upgrades. Mitchell Follow Morgan. Talia upgrades. Let's go. Hey, Veronica, I see you. Veronica, don't you look away from that camera. I see you, girl. I see you. Hey. She's a killer. Hey, and let me say something to you guys. Do you see the energy that these guys have? And Jay, yeah, I see you too. Let's go. Even though it's a low Josh, energy. come on, Josh. Even come on, Josh, give me a smile. Give me a roar, Josh. Take yourself off mute, Josh. Josh, Josh, come on. Take here. yourself off mute, Josh. Josh, come, come on. on. Come off mute, Josh. Yourself, Josh. Come on, Josh. He's scared. Come on. Josh, don't be scared. Come on, man. Josh. Come off mute. Josh. Come on, Josh. I'm not playing. Josh. Hey, come off mute. Josh, there we go. Josh, Josh. Josh give, give us a roar. roar. Come on. <laughs> no, come on. Josh, let it go. Hold on, Josh. Are you scared? You afraid somebody on the showroom floor is going to hear you? Come on. Let him know. A little bit. Come on, Josh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> come on, Josh. Listen. <laughs> come on, Josh. All right, listen. All right, time out. We're done. All right, let's get back to training. Listen, these guys, we all got ADD. They come over here. They distracted me. I got, I fell for it, like always. All right, listen. So here's my deal. Is that, did you see their energy? Oh. Even though it can't, oh. it, even though it can't hang with my energy, it's still there. You know what I'm saying? It's baby energy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's baby energy. Guys, how passionate are you about being a salesperson? Look. I want to tell you this right now. Some of you guys, and I'm not saying it. Look, you know who I'm talking to. I'm saying it in general. Some of you guys, you don't like selling. You don't. You're in it because you knew there was good income, but you don't like selling. If you don't like selling, you don't like income. That's it. By the way, you better get good at this one because whatever job you do for the rest of your life, you're going to be selling. You go to work at a restaurant, you're selling. You go to a bank, you're selling. Everybody's selling, okay? Listen, you guys have the best job in the world, but I want to say this. Your energy is everything. Your believability is everything. Your enthusiasm is everything. Write it down. Energy, believability, enthusiasm, conviction, conviction. Do, do you look like you believe what the hell you're saying? You know what I mean? That's one of the biggest problems out there. So many people are just saying words, words that don't have any emotion behind them. Okay. People are emotional people. Okay. I am too. When I'm talking to somebody, I'm looking at them like, Hey man, I hear your words, but is there anything behind them? Am I just listening to a dead person talk to me? Or does this person really believe and then I'm moved and I want to go do what they're asking me to do. When you speak to somebody, do you feel like you move them? I mean, the truth is, do you feel it? Because you can feel when you do. You can feel it. Look, when I'm talking to you, I look at your eyes and I'm seeing whether you're engaging with me or not. I don't just talk because I have a pitch. I don't pitch anybody. I believe you came here for a reason. You need a car. I'm going to help you get it. I'm going to be the best person in the world you've ever seen in your life while you're getting it. And guess what? You're going to love me. You're going to want to adopt me and take me home. But also, I'm not going to be seen as a weak salesperson. I'm going to be seen as a guy. I'm an expert. Okay? You don't have to have product knowledge to be an expert. Write that down. You don't have to have product knowledge to be an expert. You have to understand people. That's it. So many people don't understand this business is 95% product knowledge. You know, 95%. And I want you to think about that. You know, right now, if I was to unmute one of you guys, and I was to say, all right, go ahead, ask for my business. However you would talk to me, I would look at you. See these hands? These are your weapons. You see this body? It's not made to just lock up with you. 
when I'm talking to somebody, I'm like, hey guys, so what's going on? So we got this, so look at this. So I got this deal. And I'm moving around because you're staying entertained and you're engaged with me. When I sold cars, I would literally move around constantly. I'd come over here, I'd come over here, I'd slide over here. And man, people were just moving and I kept them moving. Movement is good, that's progress, okay? When the deal slows down, the momentum dies, okay? You have got to level and elevate up your energy. Look, some of you right now, you're like, Andy, I'm not that way. Yes, you are. Stop telling yourself that. You, you stop it, man. You are. You don't like it when you're not this way. When you're jacked up and you're alive, you feel great. Stop telling yourself you're not this way. Look, change the internal dialogue in your head right now. All right, everybody write this down. Change the internal dialogue going on in your head because you can't play different if you don't think different. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me just go through a little deal with you. And it's something that, you know, I go through myself every day and I live in it. Okay. Visualization, self-talk, write down that. Change the internal dialogue. Visualization, self-talk. If I can visualize it, I can do it. That's the way I work. If I can't visualize it, I cannot do it. Like I, I can't duplicate something I can't see myself doing. So before I do something, I always visualize myself doing it. And if I'm unsure, then I do it like a hundred times until I do it so many times that like, I feel like I've already done it. And then when I do it, I'm really good at it. So self-talk would be like this. If I was to put a loud microphone right on you and I got to hear all the thoughts that were going through your head all day long, what would that loud microphone sound like? With me, you guys would shit your pants because it's like, we're going to slaughter these sheep. You know what I'm saying? We're going we're gonna to bury the weak. You know, it's like, you know, I mean, seriously, like I, I run in this zone. I thought about this this morning and I know that you think I'm getting all off topic on how to sell, but I'm not. I'm actually reprogramming your mind. Get to know you can be the baddest ass salesman ever. Okay. I, 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 from the time I wake up the very first second to like, when I go to bed, if I'm not in like transaction with somebody, all my downtime, I have this right here and I put it in my ear. It's really simple. And I listen to motivation all day, all day, all day long. You know why I don't have a lot. And I pray in the morning. Listen, every morning I get up and pray. It's the only quiet time I have. Unless I'm with my kids and I'm doing business, this stays in my ear. The reason why is because all day long, it is speaking nothing but motivation. I listen to people who, who push me to levels and they're not in the car business. They're guys like David Doggins, you know what I'm saying? Who remind me to never give up. Um, I, I listen to a crazy ass playlist. Um, it's, it's right here. It's called Battle Tested, okay? And, and I'll give it to you. I mean, I'm, and you guys ought to write this down. It might be a little crazy for you, right? But if you want to hear what Andy or what I listen to, it's called Rob Bailey, R-O-B, and then B-A-I-L-E-Y, Rob Bailey, and the Hustle Standard. Now, listen, it's a little crazy, okay? You guys want to go smash a window out or something after you listen to this. But it's called Rob Bailey and the Hustle Standard. And anyways, it's, it's this one. If it doesn't pull up and look like that, then you got the wrong one. But I listened to it on Apple Music. And there's a strong line, song like, hold strong, try and hold me down, never settle. I listen to this stuff because it reminds me of like whenever I was in school, when they told me, hey, you're not going to make it, bro. I remember my drafting teacher was like, dude, you're not going to make it. I was like, yeah, I am. He's like, no, you're not. I'm positive you're not going to make that. I'm actually never been more certain about anything in my life 
then you're not going to make it. Guess what happened? I think about him all the time, and I promise you this. Even though that that's like my little mental Rolodex up here, I needed that. I needed somebody to have so much hate for me that it made me go crazy. Okay? Listen, so you got someone like that in your life. Someone, someone, I don't know who it is, but you got someone. Okay? Never let them go. Don't hate that person. Suffocate them with success. Torture them. Torture that person. Okay? Here's my deal. I don't even need him to know that I'm smashing it. But the deal is, is that I just needed to remember those words. You didn't believe in me. So it made me reprogram myself. So listen, I'm just like you guys. Okay. We all have 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts a day going through your head. Write that down. 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts. That's a lot of thoughts, man. That's shit running like this nonstop. Okay. Since... I stay plugged into this all day long, okay, right here. Even when I'm working, I got this on. And it's just like, boom, 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 boom. I'm like, I'm like, good, I got it, I got it. Now when I'm with the customer, take it out. You're cool. But in between, there's no downtime to my success, okay? And the deal is, is that, look, you're not me and I'm not you. I'm not asking you to be a second-rated version of me. Be a first-rated version of yourself. I'm giving you some things that help me create this mindset right that i have now that's allowed me to go to the level that i'm at now because my downtime before used to be conversating with somebody that was a loser that was going to feed into me some crap that was going to make me play small and i don't want to do that no more so i said hey you know what i'm just gonna be alone i'm gonna do it myself and now we run teams you know we got 20 guys that work for us we go crazy when I ran a store, we had 200 people that I managed. Long story short, I still kept the mic in. I needed to keep myself in zone with, with that fire and that energy. Guys, as a GM, I stood in the doorway like this. Every customer that walked in, boom, I was out there. What's up? How you doing? Hey, I'm the manager. What's going on? How you doing? I was right there. I showed everybody so much love. I took caring to a whole new level. And I want you to do it. You guys got to be real. You guys love people. I know you do. Okay. But the problem with loving people is that if you don't love yourself, you make it real hard to love someone else. I want you guys to fall madly in love with yourself. This isn't no gay poem crap. Okay. But like, you got to like yourself, right? I mean, dude, I like myself a lot. There was many years. There was many years. I didn't like myself. Here's the truth. I wasn't playing to my potential. Right. Okay. I, I was making excuses. I really was, you know, like anything that happened, like it was someone else's fault. I didn't own nothing. Now I own everything. The more I own stuff, the more I, I give away the power to change. It. I don't give that power away no more. Dude, if I don't handle something, it's my fault. Even if someone else messed up, I could have been a part of something that could have fixed that, that that wouldn't have happened. So that's my fault. I'm going to own it. More I've decided to own it, stronger I've got it. Okay. And I want you guys to become better than me, stronger than me. I want you guys to break every record that I did. You're my legacy. Okay. And I don't care how old you are. Okay. I mean, yesterday at the Master Closer seminar, which is why I almost don't have a voice because we were yelling so much. Right. You know what I'm saying? Alex, how much were we yelling yesterday? It was Alex, outrageous. Hey, listen, Alex is, Alex is a manager, um, GM down at a, a store in uh, in Texas. Hey, how loud were we getting yesterday? It was outrageous. It brought my level up. It brought my level up. Hey, that's my boy, Alex. Hey, love you, dog. Hey, love you guys. Here's my deal. He's awesome. Hey, dude, we do these roars. Like, anytime somebody, like, has a yawn, I'm like, did you just yawn? All right, everybody, run, 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 run. Hey, dude, we get crazy. But the next day, you don't have a voice. And the deal is, if Alex can explain one word, it's a thousand percent on offense. Dude, listen, people, we're not for everybody. There's people like, hey, that guy's crazy. Now. I don't even like that guy. You know why they don't like us? Because they're jealous. They want to be alive. They want to. They're tired of being a dead coffin. They're tired of, they hate it. Dude, they hate it. So they'll hate you for it. They don't want to change. They're never going to change. And they're going to die with regret. Okay, 
Now, here's the deal. We all have different personalities, but we all want to live our best life. So my goal is, how do you sell? Number one, you got to believe in yourself. You have to have confidence. You have to have conviction. And you have to have believability. Hey, confidence. Believability. Dude, add passion to that. Add passion. Add energy. Energy. Hey, add action. What does action mean, Andy? Well, listen. I heard this my whole life. Knowledge is power. Yeah, but not without action. Because if knowledge was power, guess what? Everybody would be a millionaire because everybody has access to the internet. But they're not. You know why? Because they don't execute. They're not murdering targets. They're murdering excuses. You know what I'm saying? They're talking about how, you know, like stuff is tough or it's slow. Dude, you say it's slow about around me. I swear to God, I'll tackle you. I mean it. Dude, we don't, we don't play that game. You're deciding your own. And by the way, your perception is your reality. Okay. You know what that means? I mean, you're sitting there. I'm looking at Nick Valentine. He's sitting there. And he's envisioning his life. And if he thinks for one second that anything is not his fault, he's going to lose. He needs to own it all. Now, he didn't give away the power to change it. He kept it. So we can change it. Also, he looks in the mirror and he says, hey, I am going, a healthy body can support a healthy mind. I got to be strong here. So he's got to start exercising. You have to. I don't care. This isn't about getting in shape. If you're not exercising, you're never going to play at the level you want to. Okay. You're never going to do it. You're going to be stressed out your whole life. Okay. Look, there's something called cortisol. I'm not your freaking fitness coach. Cortisol is what builds up in people when they have stress. Now people die, okay? It kills your freaking, um, it kills your immune system, but it also kills your metabolism. If you're working constantly and you're not exercising, you're building massive cortisol in yourself. You're going to become stressed out and you're never going to live your full life because you can't, because you can't unlock, because you're so freaking uptight. You got to start exercising. It might mean a walk. It might mean start with walking. I don't care. Just do something. People are like, well, I don't have time to go to the gym. If you don't have time to work on yourself, what the hell are you here for? What do you mean? Write this down. I want you to write this down. We're going to go back to selling, but it all flows together. Okay? Are you working harder on your job than you are on yourself? Go ahead. Think about it. Hey, so I was talking to a guy this morning. He said, Andy, I've been doing it for four months, man. And I don't know if it's for me. I said, dude, you, you, you bought the training. Aren't you using it? He's like, yeah, well, I mean, I bought it. I've been through it. I'm, I'm kind of training on it. I said, all right, so let me get this straight. Hey, baby. Um, I said, let me, let, let me get this straight. So you're working 12 hours a day. He's working six days a week. He's not taking a day off. I said, you're working that much? How much are you training? He's like, well, I train 15 minutes every other day. What, what are you talking about? No wonder you suck. You haven't gotten any better. You're just working more. Look, you have to work on yourself. You're the silver bullet. Hey, baby, you leave. Okay, are you staying here? Come here. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, just in case you guys haven't ever met my amazing wife. She's coming by. Hi. Luckiest man ever. Oh my gosh, that was such a hot. Was that was that soft? No, was that, that was weak? soft. Baby, can you give him a good high? Come on, that did was just, soft. Did you just hurt? Did you just hurt? Mama, did you just hurt? I recognize. I recognize. Mama, you better get him. Get him, Mama. Watch, watch. Get him, Mama. Get him, Mama. Get him, Mama. Oh, I'm not saying she's just waking up. Get on, baby. Get on. Ah, there we go. There we go. Come on, Mama. Let's go. Come on. Anyway, that's 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 Okay. I'm not allowed. Oh okay. All right. Hey, nice to meet you guys. Go kill it. Hey. Um, thank you, baby. Um, you're amazing. Um, okay, listen. So the deal is, is that obviously we all got a lot going on. We're working on ourselves constantly. 
This morning I got here at seven o'clock. I trained till 8.30 by myself for an hour and a half, okay? If I don't work on myself, I can't get better. I can't get better. If anybody's ever trained with me, every month I get better. Every month. Dude, it's dangerous. I'm figuring out how to unlock myself. Instead of working more, right? I work more on myself. The more I work on myself, the less time I got to work and the more money I make and the better I get. By the way, I'm addicted to work. I work 18 hours a day. I'm not telling you to do that. Don't, I don't recommend doing it, seriously. But I do it because if I don't, no one else will. That's why I do it. I love it. I made up with it. And by the way, entrepreneurship to me was like this. Hey, people have fear of loss or want for gain, right? That's why they work. You're afraid you're going to lose something or you really want something bad. I have both. I'm afraid to death that I'm going to go back and lose. So I don't want to lose ever again. So that's why I fight like crazy. Now, I give my kids one hour a day. You say, Andy, you give your kids one hour a day? Watch this. I don't have my phone on me. I put it away. And I give them one hour of massive love. One full hour. Not four hours of like playing on my phone and the kids around. I give them one real hour. And that one hour, when they get one hour of dad, all dad, dude, they don't even want another minute. With me. That's too much. They're like, dude, I'm dad. Go do something. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Guys, some of you think you need more time. You don't. You just need to start making your time count, okay? And by the way, I'm going back to selling. Can you tell I'm passionate about what I do? Yes. You need to steal from me, right? The mistakes that I made, the screw-ups, the things that you guys are doing now, I don't want you to do that shit. I don't want you to do the same thing that I did. So I'm telling you, whatever you do, do it all the way. If you're going to spend time with the person you love, okay, make it an hour, make it two hours. I date my wife every week We're on a date. You know why? Because the, the, the wedding day isn't enough to sustain a lifetime. I have to keep dating her each week. One good day, well, it, it's enough for all week long. We're, we're grownups. We're taking care of the business, our children, our, our family. When I'm at work, you know what we do? We don't sit around and play on our phone. I have one rule. In our, in our, in our my company, take it in yours. Either the phone is a tool or you're the tool. Which one is it? I walk by, catch one of my guys jacking around on social media. Get out of here, man. You're losing it. You're, you're buying into distractions. Eat discipline or eat distractions. It's your choice. Okay? Choose discipline or choose distraction. It's your choice. I assure you, everything that you want, this extra time to train, everything you want, just stop the distractions. You'll have more than enough. I assure you, it's there. You want to spend more time with your kids? Cool. Give them one real hour first. Don't give them more time yet. Give them one real hour. Save special energy for your family. You know why I sell so hard? Because I leave it all on the table. I want to go, when I go like, especially at a seminar, give an example. When I sold, I showed up to work. Everybody knew I was there. What about you guys? Are you fitting in? Or you crushing everybody? Look, people ain't gonna like you showing up to crush everybody. Here, this, this is a big problem. You just started training with me. You just started training with me. Maybe you've been training with me for a while. You're like, all right, this guy's crazy, but I don't know why. I keep watching him. Let me see. Let me see. Maybe something's gonna happen. I don't know, dude. People know who you are in your store. They know how you act. They don't want you to change. In order for you to change, you're going to have to become a fool. You have to come become a fool for your own success. Dude, when I started getting on camera, I sucked. In my mess, I made it my message. Seriously. Look, you know, it don't have to be perfect. You guys want to wake up today? You guys want to own the store? Own the whole store. You want to double your sales? Take ownership of it and start acting like it. But watch this. When you get off this call, I'm not there next to you. You go, come on, guys. Let's have a good day. Let's go out here. I got these customers. You're excited. You're alive. You're on the phones. You're working harder than ever. You're putting in 10 times the work. People will be like, hey, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? That ain't you. Why are you acting like somebody you're not? No. You don't know me. Shut up. You know what? You got to stay in your zone. 
I mean it. Nobody wants to see you play the game. You've been sitting on the bench for so long that they don't want to see you come off the bench. Okay? And maybe you think you've been playing the game, but, like, you're, like, where you, you think you're at a 10, but you're actually at a 4 compared to where your 10 could be. You know, there's so many of you guys that you're doing better than the people that are around you that like that can be your problem. You're comparing yourself amongst average people who don't do that. Listen, you know why I tell people to come train live with me? And it's just like Alex. I was talking to him. He watched a couple videos. They took their whole Toyota store and all 10 of them came yesterday from Texas. All 10 of them. The owner, all the sales guys, managers, read the whole team. Guess what? Alex is crazy ass shit, wasn't he? Hey, here's the deal, Alex. I'm gonna unmute you for a second. Alex, did you learn yesterday? How long have you been in the business for? Eight years? How long? 14 years. You've been in 14 years. Have you ever seen any kind of training? Don't don't fluff anything like you seen yesterday. Absolutely not. I mean it that training called me out dude listen you guys all need to be here with me and by the way like i'm looking at heidi brickman i, I saw her little camera down here heidi she came and trained with us guess what she started crushing it last time heidi trained with me guess what this guy i killed that guy she knew there's a new guy here every time i see you you will see a different person Here's the deal. It's a two-way street. Every time I see you, you better be a different person. Okay? The cool thing about us, dude, I don't judge you guys. I don't want you to judge me. But here's the deal. I criticize myself every freaking day. If I have a hole in my game, I need to fix it. I don't need somebody to tell me that I'm not dead on. Like, Andy, you got a problem. You know something? You guys won't fix something until someone else tells you you got a problem. I'm looking at myself all day long. I'm like, dude, where am I messing up? Do I have enough tonality? Do I have, do I have enough energy? Do I have enough enthusiasm? Do I have enough believability? Do I have enough conviction? Am I spending time training? Am I watching other people? Don't watch other people. Guys, don't watch your competition. Just slaughter them. Look, that guy that, that was beat, that, that Michael Phelps did a long time ago in that swim and gold medal. I know you guys hadn't seen it. There was that last deal where that guy was going to beat him for the gold medal, but he peeked over at Michael Phelps to watch, see where he was at, and it cost him the gold medal. Winners focus on winning. Losers focus on the winner. Somebody's beating you, quit watching them. Listen to what I'm telling you. Pick up your game, 10X the work ethic. Grant Cardone got in business because he wrote a book called The 10X Rule. All he said was go and outwork everybody times 10. Make 10 times the call. Have 10 times the energy. You know, I mean, it's, it was like a pretty simple deal, like 10 times more, all of it, right? Guess what? As a kid, I remember. I was like, dude, that makes sense. You just got to outwork everybody. But once you get the skill with hard work, oh, shit, you're dangerous. You're dangerous, man. Watch. Hey, Dave, unmute yourself, Dave. I want you guys to see something. You got, hey, Dave, can you hear me? See the little unmute button down there, Dave? Dave right here has been training with me for a year, okay? One year. He sells RVs. Dave, you can hear me? Absolutely. How you doing, Andy? What's up, beautiful? Hey, listen, <laughs> check this out. Dave, you've been training with me for one year now, right? I, actually, probably longer. I found you on YouTube before I decided I wanted to do this. I found you on YouTube and I laid the foundation for success when I found you. This is the start of my fourth year, February 2nd. Dave, this last year, we made big goals for you, right? Uh, yes. What, what happened when you finally went all in? I exceeded my expectations of which I placed extremely high expectations on myself. Could not how, believe it. Yeah. Hey, you've been putting up some big numbers, right? Yes. Your owner, the guys that own the store, 
Are they a little bit overwhelmed by the production you're putting out? I wouldn't say overwhelmed. You know, I, uh, I, I they understand that I'm here to protect the brand and take care of our customers, the company, and my family. And uh, it's very special. And the mountain, you know, I keep moving my targets. I keep looking at a bigger mountain. This is, uh, this is unbelievable. So Dave is a very humble guy, obviously. You guys can tell by talking to him. Dave is an animal. Do not get it confused. He's a straight savage, okay? But Dave has climbed bigger mountains than he ever thought when we first got together were possible. Am I right, Dave? Absolutely incredible. I'm not a job hopper. You know, I worked, uh, I'm a PGA professional by, by trait. I ran a very successful country club for many years. Um, got to a level and I, and I, I, I needed to do something different. Um, I got recruited by a big box company, worked for them for quite a few years. Uh, trained, led a lot of people, terrific life, but I knew there was something else out there for me. And then whenever I decided I wanted to do this, I had to find the best of the best. And that's when I found you and, and here I am and it's unbelievable. And the, the feeling I get of helping my customers love how they RV. I mean, for God's sakes, I put hearts on my name tag here and hold myself accountable. Hey, it's amazing. It's passion. You guys remember I said passion? Look, there's a difference between caring and truly caring, okay? And I'm telling it's like I have a coaching business. Well, I, I'm a trainer. I don't care about your money. Money holds you accountable. It's the only reason why you have to pay for something. Because if you don't pay for it, you won't pay attention. That's just the truth, right? Look, Dave, if you spend $1,000 with me, you're going to get $1,000 out of my ass, okay? Oh, absolutely. You know yeah. That's what I want. That's what I want. But when you give me a thousand, I give you back a hundred thousand worth of value. That is what you do with your customers. When they buy something from you, you give them more than what they paid for. And it comes from you. And it comes from being genuine. You guys are all here because you totally believe that you want to do this for the rest of your life. And you don't want to go do anything else. And you know the kind of money that it will pay if you become the very very, very best. So I go back. Do you know how to sell? Do you know? The deal is, do you know yourself? Will you look in the mirror and stop lying to yourself? Will you look in the mirror and say, all right, these are my holes. Number one, I'm scared to get on video. If people don't know you, they can't buy a car from you. They can't buy an RV from you. If people don't know who you are, they can't buy from you. If they don't know where you are, they can't come to you. If people don't know what you do, they can't buy from what you have. You have to be brandable. But what, what, what is the value of branding yourself if you can't be the expert when they get to you? You know what I mean? You got to learn how to sell. Well, conviction, when you talk, does it seem like you believe what you're saying? Do you believe it with every ounce of your bones, your being, your body, and everything? It's either yes or no. Look, rate yourself on a couple things here, one to 10. One to 10 confidence. What is your confidence like? Do you walk around with your head down? If you do, knock it off. Look, if you're broke right now, you're in a beautiful spot. You're in a beautiful spot, man. Dude, when I was broke, that's how I climbed mountains faster than ever. You know why? Because you ain't got none, you ain't got none to lose. You don't have anything. You're in a great spot. You got a million dollars, you got something to lose. People that have a million are scared. They're afraid they're gonna lose that million, right? But if you're broke, go all in, man. Your back is against the wall already. Guess what? It's you versus you. No one else is going to stop you but you. Look, people are their greatest enemy or they're their greatest asset. Okay? What did I say? I said change the internal dialogue in your head. You know what that means? Change the way you talk to yourself. Dude, you don't think you're beautiful? You don't think you're good looking? Guess what? 
change that shit. You better think you're the best looking person out there. If I think that way, guess what? I'm going to smile more. I'm going to be more alive. You don't like the way you dress? Go buy some clothes. Hell, you don't have to even have a lot of money. Go buy some clothes. You don't like the way you look? Go brush your teeth, shave your face. Take care of yourself. Look, feel and take care of yourself so that when you are with somebody, you love yourself. They can tell if you like yourself. It's really easy. And by the way, people aren't trying to find you to be motivated. But when people meet you, they should become motivated because you're that guy. You're that woman. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you this. When you say something to somebody, is it convincible? Do you feel like you're taking the way you feel and pushing it into them? If you're not doing the transfer of emotion, every time you talk to somebody for the next week, I want you to think about this. When I'm talking to you, do you feel like they're being moved? Watch your customers. From now on, they'll be like, oh, hi, how are you doing? Yeah, okay, let me go get those keys. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you asked for those keys? Oh my gosh, not those keys. Not those keys. Yes, I know where those keys are. They're in my drawer. I've had them hidden. Nobody's getting those keys. I know where they're at. I'll be right back. You guys ever won the lottery? You just did. You guys won. I'll be right back. Which person are you? Are you guys like Andy? I don't know. I mean, that, that's a little out there. What, you want little out there paychecks? Or you want little tiny baby ass paychecks? I get it. I know. Might be a little uncomfortable for some of you guys. What's more uncomfortable? Listening to what I say, making a lot of money, right? Maybe getting laughed at. I was laughed at until they didn't. Everybody laughed till they didn't. Or being uncomfortable, not being able to pay for now that's going down. Being uncomfortable, freaking, you know, like saying, why can't I change? Well, I'll tell you why you can't change. You don't want to change. I just talked to you the whole time about how to change. If you just took this video and you didn't train anymore with me, never again. This was the last video you ever watched. I gave you enough value in this video that you should be able to sell anybody for the rest of your life. That even if you don't have the skill, just the fact that you believe in yourself, the courage, listen, courage, the courage to change. Do you have the courage? Like truly, you know what I'm saying? Listen, if you care what other people think about you, you will become the world's biggest punk. You will never make it. You will never make it. You will never make it. People say they don't care what other people think about them. Stop lying to yourself. You still care. Knock it off. Quit caring. They don't care about you. They listen, you're thinking that they're worried, it ain't worried, they don't even care about you. Okay, people screw with people all day long so that they don't make it. Okay, you come around me, you try to screw with me, I'll take your soul right away. I'll take it. Okay, I need you guys to steal this from me and be so strong that nothing can break you. Nothing. Nothing. You guys have to stay strong. You have to stay hard. But you have to be a skilled sales warrior. What is a warrior? A warrior is a person who's prepared. Every morning before I go to work, I prepare myself for what that day is going to be. Someone's going to try to screw with me today. I already know it. Try me. Let's go. And by the way, I don't let stuff bother me. Which means when people say things that are ignorant, I don't have to have conversations with ignorant people about what I'm doing. It's like, hey, dude, man, you're an idiot. Cool, bro. See ya. It's like, hey, I know I said you're an idiot, though. I know, man. Love you, bro. Have a good day. No, I know, dude, but you're, you're a jackass. Yeah. I love it, bro. What do, you, what, what, what do you want? You want to talk some more? Or are we done. That guy, he's trying to get a reaction out of you. Okay? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to slaughter him. He'll never take it up again. Never. He'll never get a phone pop. He'll never get a fresh up. I'll bury him. I will take a shovel and go dig, dig a hole, and he will bury himself there when I'm done with him. 
he'll ask for, for when I'm done, he'll be like, dude, listen, man, can I take it up, please? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that stuff to you. I want an up. I'll say, nope, you ain't getting nothing, bro. I'm going to starve you out. You need to go get another job. You're never going to get an up again. That's how relentless I was. And guess what? I didn't need to say negative things because I ain't a negative person. But guess what? You cross the line with me, I'm going to bury you. Okay? I need you guys to understand something. I'm a very loving person. But also at the end of the day, I put a lot into this job, just like you guys do. Okay? It's time for you guys to mark your stake and own your territory. In your dealership, there's no reason why you're not number one. If you're training with me, there's no reason why you're not number one. Now, once we get the number one in your store, we need to get to number one in the state. Yep. It's time to start cutting the legs off everyone else in every other store around you. I want everybody in your, in your state to be talking about you. Listen, in your store right now, everybody should have your name in their mouth after the next week of work. I want you working so hard right listen there's 60 minutes in an hour how you work 60 minutes in that hour is what matters guys don't go work. i said i work 18 hour days i work 60 minutes in 18 hours i don't have any downtime if i was going to have downtime i'd go home okay and by the way my wife she doesn't need more time with me because she wants me happy I give her so much love, so much love. All day I call her, tell her what to love her. Hey, she'll come by. I see her all the time. Dude, you guys got to be so crazy when your wife or your husband or somebody you love comes by and sees you at the dealership. You're like, dude, who the hell are you? Like, what are you doing? I, I don't even know who you are. I'm like, yeah, I know. Because that's why I get paid so much because my show's worth paying for. These people come in here. They're used to dealing with losers at other dealerships. When they come in here, my show's worth paying for, and they love me. And by the way, you don't have to be this hype all the time. You have different personalities, okay? So don't, don't mistake. You need to have your kind of energy, your kind. You need to have your kind. <laughs> smile. Smile with your eyes. Smile with your teeth. Smile with your body. But outwork everybody. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to recreate yourself. As you're watching me, you need to think about, all right, dude, this guy paid the price, man. He made the mistakes. He just got, here's the test. Here's the answer to the test. He just showed us how to do it. Dude, and one percenters versus 99 percenters. Where are you at, right? That's it. Don't do what the other 99 percent are doing and call yourself a one percenter. It just doesn't work that way. You got to watch these guys. These twins are crazy. Hey. Let me ask a question real quick. It's 12.50. It's 12.50, okay? Hey, raise your hand if you're coming. Raise your hand if you're coming to the march. Let's go, baby. What are you guys doing, man? One percenters hey. don't unplug ever. Hey, I want to ask a question. Raise your hand if you're coming to the March Master Closer Seminar. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got a couple of you guys coming. Hey, some of you guys, It's time. It's time. Listen, it's time, man. What are you waiting on? I'm serious. What are you waiting on? I know. I know, man. It costs money. Yeah, pay the price now. There we go. April book. Pay the price now or pay it later. It's your choice. Look, 2021, you guys plan. You guys plan 2021 on certain revenue goals. You planned on it. You said, I'm going to make X amount of money. That's my goal. Well, I'm going to ask a question. You're on track? January on track? You're increasing it? I just talked to camping coach Dave down here. You know what he said? Andy, I have to keep raising the target. You know what that means? He set the target. He hit it. Instead of saying, I'm on track, he raised it again to make himself uncomfortable and press himself. You have to press. But I want to tell you this. All of you guys, I love you. Tomorrow you'll have the Macklin Twins at 10 a.m., right? On a, If you're on the $99 coaching. On Wednesday, you'll have Crazy Ash on Pollard. Wild Wednesday, right here. Got the mindset. Product of the trainer. 
You guys know who I was in February. If you don't look at that man, he's dead. This man will take you to the freaking top. And like he said, not everybody's wild and crazy. I'm the silent one. I like sitting in the back. And every time Andy has an idea, I just keep pushing and pushing. And he pushing and pushing and pushing. So I like my silence. I like being in the dark, man. That's cool. But I still win at a very high level because of this man. I love you all. See what that yeah, and that's what I want to talk about. I'll bring it to you like Sean. He's, he's more quiet. Right, so I have to shake the crap out. Of it, you know what I'm saying? But the deal is, is he still wins, and is he's always on track. So the goal is, is that you guys figure out who you are and just make sure you're leveling up. But look, guys, we're we're, we're moving to Scottsdale, Arizona. Okay, I'm telling you, March 14th, April 13th, those are the next two that we're having. Guys, go all in. Money, broke people spend money. Wealthy people use money. They use it to make them more money. If you're sitting here in front of me right now, you're right here. I just talked to Alex. Alex said he's been in business 14 years. When you're in front of me, get ready. You're going to leave here like saying, oh my God. Like, I feel like I'm a newborn baby. Dude, we teach on everything. But when you're here in person, it's insane. My goal is to meet everybody, but I just want to tell you, if I haven't met you yet, guys, come out, let me meet you this year. And hey, by the way, if everybody, if you got something to write with, write this down. I want you to write down my direct cell phone number. If you want to come to a master closer seminar, you can set up payment plans. Guys, you don't have to have 997 at one time. You set up a payment plan. Some people set it up and they do four months to 250. And then I'll see them this summer. Like it doesn't matter. Here's my cell phone. It's 405. Okay, write it down. 405 482 1991. Look, we do payment plans. Put it on a credit card. Who cares? Look, you're going to make the money back in two days. You ain't going to make it back the first hour you're back at work. The goal is, is that look, flights are very cheap to Phoenix. Look up right now, Phoenix, from wherever you are, Phoenix. Pl flights are so cheap. They've never been cheaper. Fly out here train with me one day deal just like scott ayers scott unmute yourself real quick whoa hey if these people aren't signing up what's wrong with you i was there yesterday i just tripled my mom on my ride back home today guys, guys listen. invest in yourself guys hey listen watch this i'm gonna ask this question scott how much did you make last month Hundred and two thousand, a little a little north of hundred and two. Listen, let me say it again. Scott, how much did you make last month? One hundred two thousand four hundred and fifteen dollars and ninety-five cents. Listen, all I'm gonna say to you is what are you waiting on? I know you're hanging around guys making six grand in the store, guys making twelve, and your goal is twelve grand. The problem is your goal should be fifty grand. That's why you're hitting so low. You got to be around people that believe in you. I believe in you guys. My goal and my legacy is in you, not in me. Okay, it's in you. My goal is to make you better than me. You train with me two, three months in person, you're going to be better than me. You have to. There's, a, there's not a way not to unless you're letting other people get in your ear. You know what I'm saying? Listen to what I'm saying. It's easy, man. Our, our, our tribe and our team is amazing. And by the way, Scott comes to every master closer seminar. Every one. He doesn't miss one. Hey, right, Scott? Not one. And I'm already booked for the entire year this year. Andy, I'm sitting at 40 for the month, bro. 40. Listen, and I mean it when I say this. Everybody says it's impossible until somebody does it. Scott, look, look at him. What does a millionaire look like? You know what I'm saying? You know what a millionaire looks like? Every one of you. That's what a millionaire looks like. Every single one of you. The problem is, is that you're around people that don't want you to be a millionaire. Okay? They want you to be average. Okay? You're in control of your life. This is going to change everything. Once you decide it's time for you to take over, you're going to take over the world. So, guys, today... How to sell energy, conviction, enthusiasm. Dude, be addicted to winning. No more losing. If we fail, we're fell forward. Okay? 
Scott makes a ton of money. I get Scott in here with everybody. When he leaves, every time he's like, damn, Andy, I didn't know that. I, I, I was doing it this way. You do it that way. Dude, I think I might do it both ways. Like, you guys are great. You guys already know some great things. There's good, great, and unstoppable. You got to be unstoppable, okay? So with that being said, I love you guys. You have my number, 405-482-1991. You shoot me a text and say, Andy, I want to come to the Master Closer Seminar. I'll set up a payment plan. I don't care. I just want you here, and I'd like to have you here by the summer in Scottsdale, Arizona. Look it up on Phoenix. Anyways, love you guys. Have a great day. Crush it, kill it, make them pay. See you guys.